Voices is a show that is about our struggle. Our struggle to free ourselves from colonial bondage. Uh, what makes this struggle a worthy struggle and a struggle that will succeed is that humans are the only creatures on earth that have the power, the capability to determine their destiny. And we've proven it before that we can determine our destiny. We started by, we started in Nigeria uh, in 1954 and we said we wanted to go back to Boya. And we ended up, and we ended up in Boya. Obviously we did not have the total control to remain in Boya and so the British, the UN, the French, they all conspired to say we're not going to be in Boya. And so they messed us up. But we as a people know that we want to be in Boya and the reason they're having so much difficulties with us is because we want to be in Boya but they're saying that we will not be in Boya. And I think with time we're getting closer and closer to Boya. Okay, we are getting closer to Boya. Uh, in the 90s, the SDF challenged the one-man dictatorship that was reigning in the place, a terrorist uh, organization that was terrorizing everyone. And nobody believed that anybody can challenge them. But the SDF did and survived. That brought us closer to Boya. Okay? We were not quite in Boya, but it brought us closer to Boya. And then in, in 2015, the lawyer said, we're not happy being where we are. We want to be in Boya. Uh, and La Republic ignored them. And they warned La Republic that if you ignore us, uh, it will not be for too long. And obviously, if you ask the colonial governors and the, and the, and the military even ask Paul Bia, they will tell you that things are not the same. But that's because we want to get to Boya. Because it's only in Boya that our minds, body, and souls will get together and then we can sit in peace and live the life that God made for us. Because right now we have been living other people's lives. They make laws for us. They want us to follow those laws. They tell us to sit. They tell us to stand. We've sat. We've stood. We've done everything they want. But they're never satisfied. Because they want to make they're looking at us as an instrument of their own dreams. God never created us to be an instrument of somebody else's dream. God created us and gave us the power to dream and to realize our dreams. Until we reach Boya, until we reach Boya, we will never, never end our journey halfway. Oh, until we reach Boya. I mean, that song has a chilling message for La Republic. And I am, and our people sing it all over the place with fervor. What you say? Yes, yeah, it is not only for La Republic. What it does to La Republic is, uh, is that it, it sends, it, it, it defeats, or it, it I, I, I don't know what adjective to use. But let me look at the international community, what it does to the international community. Mm -hmm. Because what it, do, it does to the international community is that it shows a sense of resolve and determination Absolutely. in our people. Absolutely. Because they keep hearing us saying that this journey is not going to end until we get to Boya. So they see that resolve and then now they are responding to it. For La Republic, it just make them throw their hands and say what what else can we do yes because we have killed these people we have raped these people we have maimed them we have imprisoned them and they keep telling us that this journey is not going to end until they get to boya that you, what you just mentioned is what took place in the last two years mm -hmm. they have destroyed our economy they've destroyed our politics they have destroyed our culture they have burned our villages they they, they burn over 200 villages and we continue to sing the same song. So what does that say? That it, it, it says that until you kill all of us, mm -hmm. and that is not possible because even Adolf Hitler could not do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's a song that has an incredible, an incredible. Uh, it's one that captures our our determination, our aspiration, in a way that I don't think any other song does. Yeah, exactly. 
Yahweh, oh, until we live.